If you hear the name Ellen, what do you think of? The biggest downfall in talk show history? The woman who lost over a million viewers overnight? No, I'm not exaggerating. She literally lost over a million viewers overnight. Ellen DeGeneres was once one of the most beloved talk show hosts in history, but that changed in a matter of seconds. And the craziest part? She is attempting a comeback. Recently, she has been featured on a Netflix special where she shares her experience of being the most hated comedian in American history and her delusional side of the story. So, with that, we will be getting into Ellen's rise to fame, her downfall, and her insanely embarrassing failed return. Firstly, we'll quickly go through her rise to fame. Ellen has been around for a while, and during the early 2000s, she was one of the biggest talk show hosts. She had all sorts of celebrities on her shows, from Taylor to Justin Bieber, which would lead to some humiliating events, but we'll get into that later. Ellen's motto was, be kind. She gave money to kids, as well as candy and technology. She was seen as this angel. And of course, she faced discrimination for being both gay and a woman. When she came out a few years back, advertisers pulled out of her show. Though it's not like she didn't face unnecessary hate, but soon the hate coming would have a valid reason behind it. Ellen reminds me of Mr. Beast in a way. She uses donating money as an excuse to hide or protect her true identity. And so her talk show continued to grow and grow. 38 million subscribers on YouTube. Tens of millions of views each video. And then the news came out. The news that she was mistreating her employees. Accusations of alleged essay in the workplace, hostility, abuse, and more. Employees said she would allegedly not let them make eye contact with her. She was rude and just a horrible person overall. We were told from the very beginning, don't talk to Ellen. Don't do this. You can't you know, go into her office. She specifically pointed out Ed Glavin, the show's producer, as being the guy who does Ellen's dirty work. We were in our production meetings and she would watch Ed go off on people. Ellen would look at Ed and she would laugh because I was hoping she was going to say, Ed, you can't be yelling at crew this way. People were shocked beyond belief. How could Ellen, a woman who preached kindness and caring, do this to her own staff? That was the same person who gave away computers and money to kids. Quick little story. I remember in first grade, I watched a video where she gave away computers to kids who made these cool inventions. So I wanted to be on the Ellen show so badly, I came up with this horrible shoelace invention idea. Ready? I wanted to tape a camera to a cardboard box. Then the camera would have a screen that would show you how to tie your shoes. I'm not exaggerating or making this up. I genuinely thought I was a genius and would be on the Ellen show. Anyway, she would later apologize in an episode for the show about her actions in the workplace. As you may have heard, this summer there were allegations of a toxic work environment at our show. And then there was an investigation. I learned that things happened here that never should have happened. I take that very seriously and I want to say I am so sorry to the people who were affected. I know that I'm in a position of privilege and power and I realize that with that comes responsibility and I take responsibility for what happens at my show. After that apology, Ellen would go on to lose 1 million viewers and would soon shut down her show and blame misogyny for backlash after. You know, it, it, I, ha I have to say, if, if nobody else is saying it, it was really interesting because I'm a woman and it did feel very misogynistic. She denied the show ending had to do with the dropping numbers. But anyway, Ellen was secretly super mean behind the scenes. How could anyone have not seen this? Well, you'll see her mean side plenty in this video, but there were plenty of signs of her not being this kind, caring person in her own show. Take Taylor as an example. Ellen featured Taylor on her show multiple times. One time, began talking to Taylor, asking her who she was dating. Taylor was clearly uncomfortable and said she didn't want to say, but Ellen persisted and forced her to play a game where she pressed a button every time she dated someone or didn't date them. This drove Taylor to basic tears. When someone is on your show, they are your guest, so why are you treating them like crap? I'll show you the clip. It's pretty hard to watch. You can just sense it. The uncomfortableness in the room. Another example that wasn't discussed a ton at the time was with Harry Styles when he was on her show and she brought a fan to meet him who kissed and touched him incredibly inappropriately. Harry laughs it off awkwardly but it's so obvious he's uncomfortable. Of course Ellen knew this would happen she probably specifically chose this fan just to make it funnier and crazier or whatever, but it's just kind of sad. Like, this is so disgusting, and I don't care if you hate the celebrity, you should agree that no one deserves to be touched inappropriately by a random stranger. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> It was just an awkward moment. It's not like Ellen was super kind to fans either. She caught a fan taking two gifts instead of one and reacted like this. You go sit in that Ellen jail over there right now. <laughs> no, 
No, you're, no, you'll steal stuff back there. Come here, this way. Yeah, completely normal reaction. Humiliate someone in front of millions of viewers and people just because they took an extra gift for their sister. Ellen would also later display Justin Bieber's naked paparazzi photos on TV and make Mariah Carey incredibly uncomfortable. It was one of the most awkward moments in TV history. There were rumors that Mariah Carey was pregnant, but she had made it pretty clear she didn't want to disclose whether or not she was, which is, of course, perfectly fine to do. It's her body, her business, her decision. But she went on The Ellen Show and Ellen asked if she was pregnant or not. Mariah said she didn't want to talk about it, so Ellen offered her alcohol, forcing her to show whether or not she was pregnant. Mariah wouldn't drink, showing that she most likely was pregnant, and would later go on to talk about how uncomfortable the situation made her. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Sadly, Mariah would go on to have a miscarriage, which makes the situation so much worse, because now it had to be public, and it's just horrible. I feel so bad for Mariah. So yes, while Ellen did her best to mask this darker side, she showed some signs that she wasn't the person she pretended to be. But years after ending the show, after all the insane backlash and hate, Ellen has returned. I don't know why, but Netflix decided to put her in a special, and she lets us know she is not the problem. The YouTuber D. Ingo uploaded a video discussing it, so I was made aware that the beloved Ellen is going to apologize and not make any excuses disguised as comedy or jokes. Right? I came across a headline that said how Ellen DeGeneres became the most hated person in America. It's a horrible thing to say about somebody. And to make it worse, there was no trophy, no awards banquet, nothing. All right, let the victimization begin. Because I didn't want to be a boss. I didn't go to business school. I went to Charlie's Chuckle Hut. I mean, it looked like I was the boss. The show was called Ellen and everybody's wearing t-shirts that said Ellen. But I don't think that meant that I should be in charge. Guys, it's, it's I'm the victim. It's not my fault. They, I was shoved into the spotlight and I didn't know what to do, guys. For those of you keeping score, this is the second time I've been kicked out of show business. Kicked me out before because I told them I was gay. Eventually, they're going to kick me out a third time for being old, mean, old, and gay, the triple crown. I love how she just sneaks in mean along with gay and old. Like, it's, like, comparable to those two. Because why are we here, really? I mean, obviously, to gossip and make fun of each other on the internet, but why else? Got me there, Ellen. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. She's two steps ahead, like Nico Avocado. And this goes on to last way, 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 way too long. She talks about how she has ADHD, she might have autism, OCD, a lot more things. Once again, I don't know what that has to do with mistreating her employees, but you know. And then she moves into this motivational, like, I'm still standing kind of speech mode. Patient, and I'm demanding, I'm direct, I'm a strong woman. Can we get a fact check on sensitive and thoughtful, please? I'm so sorry, but Ellen DeGeneres is the last celebrity who should be calling themselves sensitive and thoughtful. Yeah, Ellen, we have so many examples of you being thoughtful with Taylor Swift, with Justin Bieber. The list goes on and on. So that's pretty much it. She gets tons of backlash for this. All the uploads on YouTube are just filled to the brim with hate comments. The lesson here, you can try to hide who you truly are by showering people in gifts, but it'll come back to haunt you someday no matter what. Hope you enjoyed this video. Yes, I'm finally monetized and so thankful for everyone supporting the channel. Make sure to like and subscribe, join my Discord, and most importantly, have a great day. Also, I'm so sorry this video was longer. I just had so much stuff and it was so hard to shove this in and it took so much longer than usual to get done. I apologize. I just had so much stuff and I did my best to summarize it.